In this presentation, we are going to look at vowels and controls. And specifically, let's try to answer the question, why do you need them? To answer this question, let's start out with the consideration of the awesome power of water and wind. We see this manifest in nature, and at times it creates amazing and beautiful formations, but most of the time it just destroys everything, right? In time, humans decided, let's try to harness the awesome power of water and make it so convenient that we can just have it in our houses and wash our hands with it and use it as we please. That is a large undertaking. And to you, that may seem like nothing because you've grown up with faucets and showers and toilets and all these things at work. But in order for that to exist in your living space, we have to control the awesome and mighty power of water and gas pressures. Yeah. Now that's a pretty big task because you really must view pressurized water and pressurized gas as the twin monsters. No, I'm not even kidding. Look, tell me what happens. What happens if water gets out of control, pressurized water gets out of control inside of a building? What does it do? It floods. It can cause tens of thousands of dollars in damages in seconds. What happens when natural gas gets out of control inside of a building? It can cause death and it can blow the building to pieces. So, you really must view these as the twin monsters of pressurized water and pressurized natural gas. And if you do that and have the proper respect for that, then you will also have an appreciation for valves and controls. And this is why they exist. So that we have plenty of control and we do not risk these wonderful conveniences and resources getting out where they should not. Ooh, we're kind of intense today. Follow me here. This pressurized water monster would love nothing more than to come in to your house and flood the house. On the other hand, your intention is simply to wash your hands. So how do we make sure that as you wash your hands, the monster does not get out? Follow the valve. The faucet itself is a valve to control on and off. But if the faucet fails, we have a fixture stop somewhere below the faucet. That is another valve that can shut off the water if there is a leak or a flood. But if the fixture stop fails, or if any of the pipes in the house fail, there is also a service valve in the house to turn off the water to the house. And if the service valve fails, then there is also a main valve out at the street where it connects to the pressurized water from the city, where you have yet another control to the water coming into the property. So you see that there is a great amount of redundancy, repeated valve controls to protect us against the monster getting free. <laughs> you know, ironically, it still happens. <laughs> But you, as a plumber, want to be as far away from being responsible for a flood as possible. This is our introduction to valves. We haven't even looked at any valves yet or how they work, but I wanted to make it very clear why we have them and the importance that they play. I'll see you on the next one.